Hey guys, Jeff here with the Common Sense Camper and this is our first weekend out in the camper for this year. Super excited, I've got plenty of videos coming up. And so this video I'm just going to share some simple things that you want to keep in your camper. Things that I know I use all the time and they're very, very helpful, uh, very inexpensive. And the first thing is, very simply, a notepad and a pen. Now what I keep in this notepad, this notepad never leaves the camper. What I keep in here is when, when I winterize the camper every year, I, I have a list of everything I do to winterize it. I also have a list of what to do when I get it out for the camping season. Now when I winterize it, I tend to remember pretty easily everything that I have to do to winterize it. And I think that's because you're camping in it all the time, and then there's that one big frost and you're like, hey, I gotta, I gotta winterize the camper. And everything about the camper is fresh in your mind. However, when you get it out in the spring, you forget things. And another thing that I keep in this notepad is like this weekend we're camping, there's gonna be things that we need. Whether it's toilet paper, paper towels, clean towels, uh, deodorizer for the toilet. Do we need Ziploc bags? plates, cups, things like that. So I keep a list of that and then I just tear that sheet out and then either when I go to the store or my wife goes to the store I'll say hey let's pick up these things for the camper because we're out of them. So uh, another thing that you can do is it's a good idea I have in here as well when we pack up there's a checklist here and I'll give you two very good examples. If you go to an RV store and you, and you, and you get to the parts department guy and you ask that guy what are the two main things that they, they seem to sell a lot of, or they seem to repair a lot of? There's going to be two of them. Number one is the vent covers on your ceiling vent and also your bath fan vent. People forget to put those down all the time. They're cheap little plastic covers. If they're left up, those hinges will snap off, and boom, there goes your vent cover down the freeway. And now, so that's a very costly mistake. Another one is antennas. People leave those up all the time. They forget to put those down. Uh, another big one is stabilizers. People forget to put the stabilizers up. They hook up the camper, drive away, and they drag the stabilizers and rip them right off of the camper. And I can tell you that my first year with my pop-up, I actually did that with one of the stabilizers on my pop-up and it is not an easy fix and I fixed it myself and it was not fun so keep a notepad and a pen and do those checklists it'll save you a lot of time and money batteries I keep plenty of batteries on hand I don't keep these in the camper during the winter because they're just gonna die and you want to keep double A's triple A's and especially 9 volt batteries because just like in your house at 2.30 a.m. when you're trying to get some sleep, when you're at your tired, most tired possible moment, chip, chip, and then you're chasing, chip, and then you're chip, and then you're chip, and then you're around the entire house trying to find which smoke detector is chirping. The people that build homes also got with the camper people and said, let's do that same thing in campers. <laughs> so, uh, Keep 9 volt batteries on hand. Uh, my camper has two. If one of them starts chirping, you're not going to be able, they're so close together you can't figure out which one's chirping. So keep 9 volt batteries on hand. When you get your camper out, put on your checklist to change out those 9 volts. They will last you an entire season. If you're Even if you're into colder camping, those 9 volts will last you an entire season. So just change them out. That way you don't have to deal with that headache. Uh, another very inexpensive thing is just clothespins. Just buy a bag of them. I think I bought these, uh, I think like 50 of them on Amazon probably five or six years ago. I still have 25 of them left. Very inexpensive. The main thing we use this for is closing up bags like chip bags or popcorn bags, bread bags. Uh, you can hang up your clothes outside with them. There's just a lot of different uses for clothespins. Just keep a handful of them in the camper You'll very, be very, very glad that, you, that you, you have these on hand. Another little thing. I've had two of these for six years. I've had the, I bought these back when I had the old pop-up. And what this is is a, a light-activated, just small little dim light. It's, 
about the brightness of a, a battery or a flashlight that's about to go dead, but it's just enough light. I put one in the kitchen, I put one in the bathroom. It doesn't keep you at night, up at night, it's not glaring. You can turn all the camper lights off on the inside, plug these in, when it gets dark they come on, and so if you have to get up and get something to drink or you have to use the bathroom, now you have a little bit of light so you're not stubbing your toe on everything on the way to the bathroom. Very inexpensive, and like I said, this, these have lasted me six years. Now, one little tip with, with this, don't leave them plugged in when you, when you go to store or put your camper away for a couple weekends or even when you go to winterize it. Don't leave these uh, plugged in. They will drain the battery and uh, obviously the battery in these things will probably uh, go dead or the bulb will probably go dead if you leave them on for a long period of time. But they work really well. The next thing is this is a little more, a little more money, but I love having one of these. I, my, I think my parents bought this for me as a gift, and these are one of those things where you know a birthday or a special occasion or Christmas. Someone says, "Hey, you know what's, what do you want for Christmas?" This is a great gift item, and uh, this is a Black and Decker, and it's a cordless uh, little mini vacuum, and it comes with a charging unit. It just you just plug it in it's got a little base it just sits on the base it takes about 40 minutes to completely charge it and I'll only charge this once or twice during the camping season and this is great for you know let's say your kids spill something on the floor like crackers or bread crumbs get this out clean it up another great thing that this is useful for is when you go to sweep out your camper all those little nooks and crannies that you can never seem to get into the corners of with a broom this will take care of that. So it's a, it's a great little tool and I, I highly recommend getting one of these for your camper. So guys, those are just a couple things that I use all the time that I enjoy using and it'll make your life a lot easier uh, when you're out camping and, and enjoying the outdoors. This is Jeff with the Common Sense Camper, camping out.